Regardless, he's facing off against Stamps Toys, hoping to continue his one through loser's bracket here. Already eliminating Glace in loser's round two, so now sitting comfortably in that loser's round three slot. Already, it's going to be a case of seeing what, yo. Know, of course, Ganondorf, a very slow character. See how he can deal with that. Oh my goodness, is that just it? No, nearly it. Trying to find that up air as well to connect, but not going to find it just yet. Stam still hanging on here, taking his time. Show me exactly what you're meant to do versus Ganondorf, because God knows I need to learn. <laughs> Regardless, an up be there. You know, Stamp hoping that is going to get punished by the up smash from Crusader to hang on, but it only takes a few hits from Terry to even it right back up. Playing a two stock game here. Stamp again, just using the auto turnaround just to get a grab there. Continue damage, just pointing out all these moves. Going to get caught by that board smash though. Crusader still on third, gets this IB. No tech from Stamp as well, going to be punished by the down B. A lot of damage being put on, but Stamp still just taking his time here to find a few moves, finding that down tail. Of course, goes to the side beam, meaning he's not turned around. Seda landing the down B as well, just trying to get a bit more going. This way it starts to get scary for Stamp here. He does go into go mode though, and that is something that Ganondorf can't really deal with, but it doesn't matter if you're not able to make it back anyway. And of course, when yeah. And the thing is as well, it's that, you know, a lot of the time, you know, when you're mainly a character that does have an auto turn around, you then just learn, you know, that your character is going to, you know, obviously turn around. So, you know, obviously, you know, Stamp going to be continuing his combos knowing that he is going to be turned around. You know, so, regardless, you know, looking quite scary for Stamp here, actually. But Stamp really just starting to get hit. Stamp, this is where it starts to get scary. Crusader trying to read it on the fourth match there. Power guys comes out though. Suddenly this is looking like a very even game. Maybe even advantage Stamp here to get a few more of these hits in. Crusader playing very slowly. Just jumping around. But in the end you can't be bouncing around forever. As Terry will come a knocking. Ah. There we go, right, so you can now see the scoreboard. That's wonderful. Yeah, so it is, you know, obviously one that able to stamp. Going to Hollow Bastion for this game too here. Let's see what Crusader can do here. We're doing a very, very nice job in that game one of just, you know, beating out a lot of what Stamp wanted to do with strong hits. But in the end, you know, Stamp just showing the sheer power of that go meter. Already, Stam doing a very nice job of just keeping himself nice and distant away from Ganondorf here, which is exactly how you're meant to approach a matchup. Just never let him in, you know, never approach needlessly. Saw an up, you know, moment there where he did approach and just immediately, you know, punished for it. Stam, just keep him calm here, keep him composure. Burn out that side B. You know, now just gonna try and keep Crusader in a disadvantaged state, which he exactly does. Finding that power dunk, take away the stock. Stamp, you know, taking away that first stock very, very quickly, not giving Crusader any chance to really make a comeback. A few hits of those neutral airs going to be connecting. Okay, and the power jab, jab, power done connecting as well, putting Crusader in position. You know, off stage, but still able to make it back. Stamp not risk anything. He knows he does not want to be caught by any, you know, side B shenanigans or anything like that. He's just going to take his time, keep his composure. Did a very nice job of just hanging on to the stock here. Not even approach that go beta yet. Meanwhile, Crusader really struggling to find any sort of hits on 
Stamp as he's done. He's just weaving his way in and out, never approaching. Yo, just using the turnaround to his advantage there with down tilt, which confirms into that side beat. And Crusader now. There we go. Crusader finally finding the stock, though. Now. But it's gotta be uh, any sort of a semblance of a comeback gonna be immediately whisked away as Stamp is able to just, you know, eliminate that stock with the jab jab power dunk. Now just using the neutral beat as well, just to keep Gandalf away from it. And once again, using the turnaround to his advantage. You know, continuing his combos for him, but... Crusader really struggling to find a way in here. But a good patience on the down air there. And the force smash as well, so close to connecting. But not able to just yet. Stamp does run off. You can see Crusader going for the down air. Yeah, but no shenanigans gonna be happening today. Meanwhile, Stamp still hanging on with two stocks here, but he's gotta be careful. Gandalf can absolutely hit like a truck. Oh, and he's trying to, you know, spot dodge, you know, get a punish off of that, but Stamp just not letting it happen. Finally, the go meter is online. You can see them going for the Buster Wolf there, but it's not, and you know, able to reach. The Crusader still hanging on. Oh! And you can see there that Stamp was, you know, trying to go for the power guys, which connects, but unfortunately just facing the complete other direction. So it gets hard punished for it. And suddenly, Crusader, no! What happened? No! Oh, so unfortunate there. Stamp just, yeah, sorry, Crusader just not having a jump to make it back. Fortunately falling.